Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm 29 years old, originally from New York City, Queens. My parents came from Colombia. And my grandma, her whole life, she's just cleaned apartments, she's cleaned offices. And uh, when my mom had me, she was on, what do you call that? Welfare? Welfare? She was on welfare. And then she said, this is not what I want for my future. So she went and got an education, got her associates, and then uh, started working in the insurance industry. Did very well for herself because she was beautiful. She is a very beautiful woman and just climbed up the ranks at Travelers. Everybody knows Travelers, right? And um, so she got into real estate. She bought her first property and um, it was a three family home in Queens. She rented up the top, she rented the basement and she lived on the first floor and she pretty much lived rent free. Those two apartments paid for the mortgage. And with that, she was able to travel all over the world and take, my, take me. And we lived in Queens. So while all the kids in the neighborhood were playing outside and doing all kind of other stuff, I was seeing other spectrums of the life. So that's why I think I am very different than the kids from my neighborhood. Like if you look at the kids from my neighborhood, some of them up to, up to no good. But just because I had that, you know, my mom had that blessing of purchasing that property, and being able to live rent free, we were able to travel. She would send me to Colombia for a year. She would send me to Puerto Rico. She would send me to Bermuda, Barbados. Um, she'd send me to Florida because of that cash flow that she made off of real estate. So, guys, I'm a, college, I'm a high school dropout, okay? I'm a college dropout. And the reason why I'm saying this thing to you guys is because I want you guys to understand that what you guys have in your hands is for everyone. It's not for just a real estate person is not for a lawyer, is not for a successful person, it's for anyone that has drive. And that's what I've had. I've had drive, I've had ambition, I've had tenacity. So, guys, you know, the biggest thing I wanna tell you guys is don't just seclude yourself to talk to certain people. Use that, re that, that arm reach. Wh whenever, you, whenever you're at arm's reach to somebody at the bank or at the restaurant or you're just walking by, Give that business card, start a conversation, form them. Family, occupation, recreation, and message. The only reason why I'm here, guys, is because I was searching. And there's people out there searching to get touched. And the reason why I'm here is because as soon as I started Wake Up Now, I had failed enough times in MLM that I knew that I had to get with a mentor. And I said, you know what, I'm going straight to the top. As soon as I got started with Wake Up Now, who's the top guy? Who's the top fish here? And they point me to Daryl YG, I was in his inbox. I said, hey bro, you don't know me? And I don't care, but I'm telling you, I'm about to rip this deal. I'm, you will get to know me. Five months in the company, I, uh, I started making $5,000 a month. You know, then I became a regional trainer for Wake Up Now. And guys, I'm letting you know right now that when I started MLM, I completely S-U-C-K'd at this, right? I was really bad. Marilyn is my witness. You know, <laughs> Marilyn, uh, Marilyn and I have been living together for the past, you know, three years. And um, just like any relationship, we've had a lot of rocky roads and it's been due to my career choices. You know, it's been due to my career choices because I'm a kite. I'm like, I'm a big dreamer. I'm like, I'm gonna go get this. Just like, while I was in Utah, I'm like, maybe I should move to Utah. Babe, what do you think about we move to Utah, <laughs> right? And I just told her, we're moving to Dallas, Texas to, to, to get mentored by Dow YG. And then I'm like, eh, let's go to Utah, right? So, the culture that you guys hear is amazing compared to other MLM companies because all they do is flash cash, flash cars. Come on, my upline picked me up in a Durango, <laughs> right? That's so refreshing. That is so refreshing. <laughs> so what, what we're promoting here, guys, is seriously that story I just told you, freedom. And my mom, I, it was my senior year in high school and 9-11 happened, and she was completely fed up with New York. She, she, she was making $70,000 a year. She had this, you know, she had the house. She had, we had a cabin upstate New York similar to this, Lake George, five hours away. She bought that house, 14 acres, it was 70,000. Okay, so do you see how real estate, I'm, I'm from 80th Street in Jamaica, New York City, Queens, 50 cent type of deal scenario, you know? 
Like, that's, that, you know New York. Okay, so I'm like on the border of Brooklyn and Queens, and uh, so real estate literally changed my life indirectly. And it's been a passion of mine. So when 9-11 happened, my mom decided to sell her property in New York and move to Florida, and then she sold her upstate cabin. She sold it. So she bought the house in Queens for 150 and sold it for 350. Then she bought the cabin at 70 and sold it for 150, took that cash, went to Florida, bought her house, and then didn't do anything else with real estate. Now guess what happened 10 years later? Zero. Because she never reinvested it. So this has been, this is what I've noticed and this is why I been wanting to do real estate for such a long time, but I've never had the capital. But most importantly, it's not even the capital. Because as we know here in Strongbrook, you put the pieces to the puzzle and you're good. You got someone with credit, you got someone with money. I got Strongbrook, let's go, baby. That's right. right? I got my first deal, I got 30%. <laughs> right? So you really don't need credit or capital. All you need to know is I got, I got Strongbrook, I got that vessel. You know? So. Guys, I joined this first and foremost, guys, because of the real estate. Because I, was I am tired of motivating people. And that being said, guys, what you guys have here is so simple that you guys don't even know it. Because you don't really have to motivate. Do you want a house, yes or no? OK, cool, follow the system. Do you want a house, yes or no? Cool, follow the system. Do you want a house? And when you reach the masses, the cream comes to the top. So you don't have to constantly be like, hey, bro, did you order your case of, uh, of, uh, juice? of juice? <laughs> no, we understand that you're getting into real estate, and this is a long-term plan. So you have to develop to that. So I don't got to be calling people every single morning like, hey, did you do that? Hey, did you do No, man. Because if you stop paying $100, you're pretty much giving up on your dream. You're giving up on your house. And if you're giving up on your dream, I don't want you on my team. Thank you, I'll find somebody else. And, and you know what? Whoever's been here for two years or a year or so, and you're not having traction or anything like that, I'm gonna tell, tell you point blank and period what it is. It's fear. Overcome that fear because all you gotta do is talk to people. I used to go to detention for talking to people. I used to say, you know, now I'm about to make millions off of talking to people. <laughs> It's crazy how the thing turns, and that has to do with my friend that uh, owns the, uh, the, that's a founder of the university. Hey, right? And you know why? Because we're based on this, this education system, math, science, this and that, but what happened to the virtues? Being nice, I used to be criticized all the time for having a smile on my block. You know, where there was all these kids that thought they were hood, like, I used to get picked on and bullied all the time because I had a smile, I'm happy. What do you want me to do? I'm sorry, I just got back from Barbados. What'd you do? <laughs> What'd you do? I'm sorry, right? My life is okay, thank you. So, guys, you guys have something excellent right now and, and all you gotta do is just talk to people and follow this system that I'm about to share with you guys, which is PS3, we didn't invent it. We're just duplicating it, and we just, it's, guys, it's learning, executing, having fun. You guys do that, and it's, it's, it's golden. Learn, execute, have fun. Um, so, guys, I barely graduated out of high school, barely graduated out of college. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't graduate out of high school. I got my GED, awesome. Then I went into college, took my first uh, semester, took three classes, failed two, passed one. But then I, I, it just wasn't for me, so I, I said, okay, I need to do something. So I went and I, and, I, and I got jobs, but I was constantly getting fired. And I said, okay, so college is not for me, jobs are not for me, what am I gonna do? So then, you know, guys, it's all about duplication, seeing. So I remember going to this flea market one time in Orlando, Florida, I had just gotten there and I wanted New York music. And I went to this one flea market booth where it was five CDs for 20 bucks and it was up north music and I said, perfect, awesome. Okay, here's 20 bucks, give me the five CDs. And as he is uh, putting the money in his pocket, he's taking out a knot like this and he's wrapping it around where it could barely wrap. And I said, did you just do that off of CDs? 
He's like, yeah. I said, okay, cool. And then that whole night I'm thinking like, wow, I know where I could get those CDs in New York. And then I went back the next week and I said, can you possibly sell me these CDs wholesale? Absolutely. And that guy is till today one of my partners. So, and this was like 10 years ago. And from there, guys, I started selling CDs out of the trunk of my car. And I used my first income tax check that I got from Sketches USA, the sneakers. I was like the stock boy. I used my income tax check to purchase $500 worth of CDs. And I started selling from barbershop to barbershop. And that ultimately grew to one storefront, two storefronts, a storefront in New York. And the economy hit. And um, I had to let go of the store. I didn't even sell it. We kind of liquidated everything. And I was left with nothing. Uh, well, I got left with a whole bunch of experience, but I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do now? I got no money, but I got experience. I haven't worked a day in my job, I don't have a degree. My mom said, well, do what I did. Go get your insurance license and work your way up. If you was able to do that by yourself with no mentorship, with no money, imagine what you could do in a corporate level. I said, cool, so I got into the insurance business. Um, in the insurance business, I started off at State Farm, Allstate, Brown and Brown. Brown and Brown is like the seventh largest insurance brokerage um, in the United States based out of Florida. And I was dying inside, guys. I was like, this is not me. I had that entrepreneurial spirit in me. And she, she remembers, we, this is when we first had met, and I was so crazy about her that we had just met in New York. We were dating for a few months, and I got that a job opportunity at Brown & Brown Insurance that I was like, yo, babe, you're coming with me. Either you, because this long distance thing is not gonna work, so either you're coming with me to Florida or not. So she came to Florida with me. And she saw, she saw the light in me, that, that burning fire, that, that drive was dying in me. And I said, baby, we need to do something. And that's when I found MLM. And I started off at World Ventures. And from World Ventures, I moved into, I, I, I went from World Ventures to Wake Up Now. And then Wake Up Now, I'm here with you guys now. But I'm letting you guys know that in World Ventures, I was, I was no one. I was absolutely no one. I didn't know what I was doing. I was very frustrated because it wasn't, I had all the success in the retail business. I had all the success elsewhere, but I'm not having success in the MLM. So maybe you guys can relate that you've had success in other ventures, but maybe your business is not moving as fast. Have, raise your hand if this is happening to you, right? And all it is, guys, is just that you're not following the system. I wanted to reinvent the wheel. I wanted, to, I wanted to, to do what Chris was doing. I wanted to just give them all at once, and then I was, and then I was taking it very personal. Mm -hmm. Don't take this business personal. Detach yourself from the yes or no, because I got a million other people to show. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So detach yourself from that yes or no. So what I was doing, I was, I was so per Oh, you know me, right? I've been successful, I've been doing this, I've been doing that, why wouldn't you wanna join me? It's such a simple concept, what's going on? So that pushes people away and that frustrates you. Um, all right, so the MLM industry guys, my first two years were just learning, learning, learning. I was going to trainings every single two months. I was a reading, I was reading a book every month. Um, and I went through the trials and tribulations and everything that you guys are learning, you just need to apply it in the streets, you need to apply it at your jobs, you need to apply it everywhere in your life because that's how you're gonna get better, point blank and period. See guys, I have no problem standing up here now with you guys because I have done, have done it enough. When I first started, when I would do presentations and slideshow guys, I remember I would end this presentation so disappointed in myself, go in a room and cry. Seriously. <laughs> I was so upset at myself because I'm like, I know this stuff. I know this could change people's lives. Why am I not connecting with people? And um, the, when it started clicking is when you care less what people think about you. Care less about what people think. Guys, that's why I'm transparent here. I'm like, yo, this is me. This is what it is. Take it or leave it. Because I, I love myself regardless, right? So this is why I don't have a problem speaking to anybody about anything that I'm passionate about. Because I'm passionate about it. You don't, you don't have to be passionate about what I'm passionate about. I just spread the news. That's all I'm doing. I'm sharing news. Okay? Oh. PS3. P stands for peak their interest. Okay? And how do you peak their interest? It's, it could be as simple as just sending a text like, hey, have you ever been interested in real estate? Yes. Perfect. If I shot you a video right now, would you, would, you want, would you be able to see it? Yes. So you share with them the video. After, you're going to say, okay, so you're going to watch it now. Yes. I'm going to contact you in 10 minutes. 
When you contact them in 10 minutes, you get that three-way person on the phone. Now, this is how this works. So I'm going to do it with you, Norris. Norris, I know you've been doing real estate for a while. Um, are, you, are you still building your portfolio? You're still, you're still, are you still like, active in real estate? Yes. Cool. Listen, I came across something, and I, I would love to share with you because I think you may be interested. If I shot you this video, would you be able to watch it? Sure. Right. Would you be able to watch it now? In two hours? Excellent, cool. So I'm gonna shoot you the video, and then I'll contact you in about three hours. Fair? Deal. Deal. Boom, I shoot him the link, I know what time it is, three hours later, I'm giving him a call. So this is what I say as soon as I get on the phone with him. Norris, what's up, buddy? Good. Did Sorry. you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, how are you? What's up, buddy? Did you watch the video? I did. Cool, what did you like best? Um, kind of done for you, it's interesting. It's pretty awesome, right? I'm sure you got a whole bunch of questions, right? Sure. Dude, I met some amazing people, and I want your questions to be answered the right way. So I'm gonna get my boy Riley on the phone. He's an absolute beast. This guy has properties all over Wyoming. Dude, this guy is, is, is the bomb, okay? Well, I'm not gonna say that to everybody, but this is how I talk, right? You use your own lingo. This guy's the bomb. Let me get him on the phone. Hey, Riley! Wait, wait, wait. Do I have to be stuck in Wyoming? No, I don't know. Okay, no, 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 dude. I just want your questions being answered. I understand. Right? So then, hey, Riley, so what I'm doing now is that I'm gonna edify Riley to Norris, and then I'm edifying Norris to Riley, okay? So why are you edifying? You're edifying because he's the expert, okay? And then you wanna perk up his little ego. You want, yeah, I'm important too, right? But he's the pro. And then you let them do the deal. You let them talk, he's gonna answer questions, blah, blah, blah. When they're done, all I'm doing is saying, that was awesome, right? Are you ready to get started? See, one of the reasons why you guys don't get sales is because you don't ask for the sale. You'll go have a cup of coffee, or you'll, you'll, you'll be like, so, you know, how about that game? Like, you'll just completely forget. You are so scared to ask for the clothes, ask for the sale, ask for the credit card. When they say, yes, I'm ready to get started, okay, cool, I'm gonna shoot you the link to my website. Let's go ahead and get you enrolled. I'm shooting to you right now. Did you see that link I just sent you to your phone? Okay, cool, I'm gonna walk you through the enrollment process. You just said yes to me. Yes means you're gonna get started now. You're not gonna get started tomorrow or the day after. So you gotta build this with urgency because you know what? If you don't know who might get started tomorrow, that person that gets started tomorrow might blow this thing off the hinges and you just might have missed 12,000 people in your organization in the next five years. So what is this $500,000 worth to you? And we're talking about the map deal. Okay? We're just talking about map, because that's, that's, I'm, I'm a pro at map. I'm about to kill the map deal. Okay? Now, the PSAs are gonna come later, but I'm not doing the PSAs. You know who's doing the PSAs? Hey! They're doing that for me. Boom! Boom! That's it! Drop mic! I don't gotta do that. That's not my expertise. I don't wanna go into how much finances you have. I don't wanna get into how many houses you wanna get. I don't wanna know your speed, nothing. Hey bro, I got the vehicle for you to start doing investments. You do it at your time, cool. What's up, you ready to get started, yes or no? So PS3 guys, pique their interest, share the video, three-way call. Three-way close. Three-way call, three-way close, okay? So, a good way to pique interest, guys, is using your social media. Who has social media? Raise your hand. Cool. Be active on it. Take a picture of this cabin and say, I can't wait until I own 100 of these. They're going to say, what? 100? Is this guy out of his mind? How's he going to do it? Hey, Wileen, are you serious about that you want 100 of those cabins? How are you going to do it? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me share with you an amazing video. You share with them the video, and then you get your upline on the phone. Done deal. So guys, I do about five an hour. I'm constantly, I'm looking at my phone. Who can I bother right now? Who can I call? I'm looking at my Facebook, who's online? Dude, I go through my whole Facebook. Hey bro, have you ever been interested in real estate? Hey bro, have you ever been interested? Hey, have you ever? So copy and paste all the way down my Facebook, all the way down my Facebook, all the way down my Facebook, on my phone. Texting, 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 texting. And obviously my cold market or people that I come across, I'm always intriguing them. Curiosity, guys. The more curiosity that you build, the better. They're gonna ask you, what are you doing? 
So don't give it all to them. Do not sell people on this. Give them that curiosity. What are you doing? Who are you working with? Take a picture of this and be like, I'm so blessed to be part of this amazing group of people that are chasing freedom every single day. How much curiosity are you gonna build with that? They're gonna come and question you, they're gonna inbox you. So PS3 guys, you guys do this and it takes you away from everything because you're really not doing anything. All you're doing is making the initial contact, piquing their interest, sharing the video. The video does all, Chris Crone does it all for me. Thanks Chris, appreciate that. When you're done showing the video, do not ask, okay? Do not ask, hey, do you want to hear from my friend Riley? No, I don't. <laughs> you're gonna tell them, hey, I know you have a whole bunch of questions, right? Yeah, okay, cool, so I'm gonna get a, my boy, he's absolute beast, he's been doing this thing for about a year, he's, 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 he's a great guy, I trust him, he's one of the reasons why I'm so successful in this business, let me get him on the phone. So you're, you're telling them what you're about to do, don't ask them, because 90% of the time if you ask them if they wanna talk to somebody else, it's uncomfortable. And that's another thing about this business, guys, don't ask people, tell them, you need this in your life. You need this in your life. How many times have we been pushed to do things that we don't want to do? How many, and, and it's like negative? How about we push them to do something good for themselves, great for themselves, to, 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 to acquire real estate, to be a, amongst, guys, you guys have all inspired me here. So this is something that we need to push people towards. And when I say push, I'm not saying, guys, beg them to get in. I'm talking about building urgency and taking it away from them. When I say take it away from them and say, hey, this is, not this is not for you right now. I don't think you're ready right now, but you may be ready in the future. However, I gotta go show about 100 other people. I'll talk to you soon. So you're taking it away, and you're saying you're about to talk to 100 more people, and that's gonna give them time to be like, oh, this is something big. This is something big. I need to get started immediately. So you have to, that's how I built my, that's, guys, I got, close to 20 people in my organization in the past two weeks because I built that urgency. I said, you don't even know who's about to get started in this thing. And you know what's awesome here, guys, that I want to share with you guys one last thing, and I'm so sorry. Hey guys, this will be the final comment. <laughs> final comment. STV, STV. This is what people want to know. Your story, your testimony, and your vision. Your story, your testimony, and your vision. Once you let them know your story, you let them know your testimony, what Strongbrook has done for you. I already have a testimony within two weeks. I have a testimony within 24 hours. And then the vision, where are you taking this? Remember, people are not joining Strongbrook in the MLM portion, they're, they're joining you. So once you share that with them, it's, it, and a lot of you guys already have done real estate. A lot of you guys already have a real estate portfolio. A lot of you guys already have, the proof is in the pudding. You guys have the pudding. But you guys are doing a phenomenal job because you guys are not by yourself. They're doing, they're selling this for you. All you are is the bridge. All you are is that connection. You're that walking, talking advertisement for Strongbrook. Done deal. That's it. You're that walking, talking bulletin board. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.